Hi, I'm Gail Hogue. I'm here with Gregory. And we're going to continue with this process of attuning to the energies that we're moving into now, that we're experiencing now, to assist us in raising that frequency, raising that vibrational level that will carry us into a whole new level of expressing our divinity. Something that I want to share with you that I've become aware of more, Gregory and I today were actually um, listening to some really interesting videos that talked about how there are innovative solutions to so many problems that are so simple. As we look out at our ecological situations, what's going on in our world health-wise, with the way that people have experienced a lot of deep problems, there's solutions that are happening. And what is coming forward is from a whole nother paradigm. It's like when we realize stepping out of the box is the answer, we're not going to find the solutions from the same way that we got here. Instead, by letting go, and finding ourselves in that place that the new ways of activating ourselves are coming. And they're coming from all different wonderful ways. It really is exciting because this is a time when if we take that hope inside and stay with that light, we're going to watch amazing things happen in the world. Things we couldn't have imagined. Just as we couldn't have imagined 2020, taking everything apart when we were in 2019, it's like, oh my God, who could have thought that things could fall apart so much and things could become so difficult? Likewise, I'm really feeling so much shift in energy, so much energy coming up from that core of my being, from that core of all of our beings. That transition is really afoot right now. And that's what December 21st, this particular solstice is all about. A real major transformation. And again, like we were sharing last time, it's important that you hold the high thought, you hold the loving thought, you in your choices always choose what's going to keep you centered and what's going to keep you grounded. And it's not an easy thing in today's world because so much is falling apart, but it's going to be coming together in your vision of holding that positive space. So it's so important at this time that we support each other in that understanding. Really, there's, there's so much truth to the fact that in order for such an extraordinary transformation to come about, we really needed to see and need to continue to see so much fall apart. Because the truth is, that those structures have really disintegrated over time. And we're seeing, because of the way the veils have lifted, we're seeing what's really happening. So we want to be able to kiss it goodbye, you know, with gratitude, with acceptance, say, yes, we are ready. And so it's time to take our new cues, not from what we see outside of ourselves with our physical eyes, but instead, what we see inside, in our hearts, in that inner space, in the intuitive knowing, in that place that we go to when we're quiet, that's, that's going to be the big shift. So let's take a moment and just tune in to what that means. How do we go about using our physical eyes and knowing that we're living in a physical universe and yet give equal energy to what we know inside. 
to that creative space, that heart space. And so it means that we're going to slow down a bit. We're going to consciously recalibrate, make certain that we're not running too quickly. Because when we do that, we're often on automatic pilot. When we stop, we take that breath, we shift. Ah, <sighs> we take the moment to listen and to know and to feel that heart space and acknowledge that that level of vibrational energy, that frequency is what's carrying us forward. And now we're going to not only do that within ourselves, we're going to do that with each other. So for a moment with me right now, just imagine that you are with a very special group of people and you're feeling that unity. You're feeling that heart-centered space. You're in a place where the hearts and the souls of people in a very coherent space are knowing the beauty of each other. It's kind of the destiny of Namaste, seeing who we really are and co-creating together. That's what we're being called to now. So feel it. Feel what that feels like in your body. Feel the spaciousness of it. Feel the sense of gratitude for how together we are creating a whole nother level of genius and ability for us to build the next level of civilization of what humanity is here for and see that we're celebrating that together. And that is something that we will joyfully do as we move forward into 2021 together. Remember, this is really a positive time if you so choose. And as Gail was saying, the veils are lifting. And the Greeks had a word for that, to see beyond the veil. At that time, that's called apocalypse. And look what we've done in our society, how we've taken that word of revelation, of understanding, of growing, and turned it into something that's fearful. And we think when someone talks about apocalypse, that it is the end of times. But really, this is the beginning of times. And that's our opportunity right now to be here at the beginning of this powerful time of transition. What a blessing. What a blessing this is. And how much fun we can all have together with it. So let's continue on working together and we'll bring you one more attunement in the next session. Thank you and blessings. And blessings.